the rocket Ronnie Baxter and uh, see if Dudbridge can get the maximum and then the, the final match in the last day Phil Taylor against Mervyn King that should be something very very special and certainly Baxter's had a bit of a lean spell he's come back on form like Dudbridge has 96. He is like the rocket, he's Ronnie, he fires him in very quick. Here we have Mark Dubridge, and that's a perfect dart for Mark Dubridge. You would expect to put another one in the treble. 140. Uh, that's great pressure. 111 then. And you would feel that Hamilton has to get this. Treble 19, the first target. Still a chance, needed the treble. So Dudbridge here to break 51. the throw with his first Mark leg of the match. Crucial 54. darts here, Rob. Absolutely crucial. He's already had darts at double top in the first leg. Is he going to take it out this time? He hit it low, double ten. Pressure's on here. And he's missed again. 34. And again he's going to let Hamilton come 60. in. And you, you can't see Hamilton missing it. No, that's five darts Dudbridge has had at a double. He could easily have won the first three legs of the match. Now he could find himself a set down and a leg down against yeah, Andy Hamilton. Who isn't missing. Andy Hamilton. That's the big difference. Hamilton's had three darts at a double. On. He's hit them all. Dudbridge has had five. He hasn't made one. No, in every leg, Mark has been in front. As you say, he's not cleaning the legs up. But this man, he's on a run. Solid performer. Just the image of Henry VIII. And I certainly wouldn't want to fight this guy, Stuart, that's for sure. I think these days he'd beat you on a dartboard anyway, that's for sure. I think he'd beat me anywhere. He'd beat me going to lunch as well, I think. He, he likes his food. Well, first to three sets, Easy one. Hamilton in the box seat, but as we saw in our first match here on the big stage on day two here in Connecticut, Wayne Mardle was two sets up against Mervyn King. He missed two darts for a 3-0 victory and lost 3-2. But uh, Hamilton going some now, just ratcheting it up. Well, you can see the speed of his third dart going in. Just Smashes into the other two and deflects in the treble. And the pressure is now on Mark to go two sets to nil down. As I said, to a lot of people at home, this format may seem a lot, a bit of a race, but to these blokes, it's five minutes on that stage. And one's in there again and again. Just smash it in there again. Uh, 123. Exasperated cry from Andy Hamilton. Last start, just straying into treble one. But uh, still a possible 11 data. 100. At the moment, and you require the man they call the hammer is hammering Mark Dubridge for the second set. Treble 18, the shot. A double 12 for two sets to nil. Ah, so well, the first time he's missed a double. And it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be that costly. No, all Mark can do is put a bit of pressure on. He needs a ton at least. And Hammer's coming back for 24 and, and said before. The way he's playing, you can't see him missing it. And you require 24. He splits the double 12. And the double six is right at the end of his fingertips, the way he throws. Double 12 for two sets to nil. Yeah, he shot on the second uh, set. Andy Hamilton. Brilliant. Absolutely. Andy Hamilton has won all four legs. It's two sets to nil. And Mark Dubridge, really, the way he's playing at the moment, you just cannot see him getting back into this game. But uh, that's a lot better. Two great darts covering on the treble 19. Yeah, what Mark's got to do, which all players should do, is when you're, you're really down, you just play one leg at a time. Don't think of the match. Just play every leg as it comes. I'll win this leg, I'll win the next leg. And then before you know it, at times you turn it around and you're back in the game like Mervyn King did against Wayne Mardle. Wayne had two darts in the double to beat him. Comes Not back yet. and wins the match. So two sets to nil, Andy Hamilton. 
won all four legs so far. But Dudbridge could have won the first three. 84. Finishing Hamilton four out of five. Dudbridge none out of five. Uh, just coming down for 19. 99. Uh, sensible shooting from Dudbridge. At least he's left himself on a finish. Top of the shop, 170. He was close to a 167 in the second leg of the match. Well, that's another perfect dart from Hamilton. That's a second perfect. Are we going to see a third perfect? 121. No, you can see he's not happy Matthew with it. The Dudbridge will have six darts, at least from 170. Will he need all six? He certainly is. 100. Yeah, really. Settle for that, 70 when he comes back, possible 14 data for Dudbridge. The big question is, can he actually hit the double? This is where the game turns around. If Hamilton hits a 134 here, 96. he hasn't. Mark Dudbridge now on 70. 70. Can he clean this up? Be his first double if he does. Double eight for his first leg. 54. Well, you heard, you heard him talking to himself. Like, Come on, Mark, he said. He must be desperately disappointed. 145. This really would hurt. Hamilton takes this. He needs just one more leg for victory. He's made the perfect start to the combination. Double top. This would be fantastic from Hamilton. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic dance from Andy Hamilton. Second leg is 145. Came on. That was sensational. A hammer blow, methinks, for Mark Dubridge. Yep, a sledgehammer at that. Superb darts from Hamilton. It just shows you you can be in command of a leg. And in this game at this standard, you get it nicked from right on your feet. And that's what's happened to Mark Dubridge in several of these legs. He'll walk off here if he loses, thinking, you know, I should have got control early on in the game. I had darts at a double, I didn't hit him. 46. He's had seven darts at a double and not hit one, you know. And, and at this standard, Stuart, you can't expect to win matches, you know, not hitting doubles. Yeah, not when you're at the quarter-final stage. Complete contrast. Hamilton, a five out of six, 83% checkout. And well, if he does win started. this match, that's the sort of finishing that you would think he would have to uh, to produce against Barneveld in the semi-final. Yeah, I think you're right. The heavy scoring of Barneveld means Easy. that uh, most players that play him and Taylor come to that. You are getting left on the ton shots instead of the 60s and 70s. And if you want to beat them, you've got to take it out. So we see Andy Hamilton put another perfect dart in the treble 20. Now, I would expect him to switch, but he does well, slam the dart in like that one. <laughs> Dubber is now really up against it. 131. And you require 121. Hamilton, 121 for the match. Should be going for a 60, but sometimes these boys go for 25. No, he's going for the 60. Well, wow, this would just be brilliant. Left the single 15. 105. He'd be happy with that. Uh, averaging nearly 99 now. And desperately disappointing for Mark Dubbridge. Reach the quarterfinals. Looks like he's going no further for the match then. For a clean sweep, for a whitewash, for six consecutive legs. Double eight. Now that, that could be awkward. Well, you on the expect match. Hamilton Andy to Hamilton. get it the way he's been throwing. A brilliant performance, desperately disappointing for Mark Dunbridge. Hamilton wins six consecutive legs. He's through by three sets to nil. It was a brilliant performance from the Hammer, and he will now face Barney in the semis. So, here we go. State of play in the PVC US Open. Barney, 110 average, beating Scholten. Andy Hamilton stunning on the finishing. 145 checkout, winning all six legs against Mark Dubbridge. Still to come, John Park twice for the world champion against Ronnie Baxter and what about that that should be something very very special it's Taylor against King to round up the quarterfinals but coming up next don't go anywhere